to this new video i am in new york and i am here for a few days for us open with work and i actually got in last night and uh, we went to see something that i've been dying to see for many many years so we went to see a broadway show but i was so worried that we're not gonna make it because we had about a two hour delay and uh, we were stuck in traffic and i was just like you know by the time we were checking in the hotel i just like was looking at the watch and I was like, there's no way we're gonna make it. So um, I decided to still take the risk. We went and we got the last minute tickets and Times Square under those red stairs. If you guys been, you probably know what I'm talking about. And it was honestly just the most amazing show ever. I am such a huge fan of The Phantom of the Opera. I have like a vinyl at home and it was my first time uh, to see a Broadway show. So I'm so, so, so happy. However, um, this um, vlog is not gonna be about me just having fun. I am here for a work trip, but I will be um, staying about two days longer in New York. So uh, today is, um, what is today? Today is the 7th of September, that's what it is. I always lose track of what day it is. And it is Saturday morning. Um, I'll show you guys quickly the view. It's actually quite nice. I'm on like 32nd floor. So skyscrapers, blah, 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 all the good New York stuff. And actually, I've just finished my makeup, but I'm not wearing my uniform yet because as I was um, about to finish up doing my hair and stuff, I realized that I forgot bobby pins in Dubai. So I'm going to have to run to CVS now and I hope that they're open because it's still quite early. I mean, it's 8 in the morning, but it should be open, I think. Um, what else did I want to say? Um... Oh yeah, so uh, we are the last two girls to join. There's already a few of the girls that are already here. Actually, one of my friends, Christine, was here at the end of August for about a week. So it's a shame we couldn't go together. But um, I'm here basically for the finals. And uh, yeah, I flew in yesterday with Anna Maria. She is uh, my colleague and we did an event. Um, yeah, we did an event in London in our, uh, for Arsenal. That was about six months ago, I think in April. Yeah, so it was good to see a familiar face and today I'm meeting the rest of the crew. So I think we're, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 or something like that. So that's gonna be nice. And I'm kind of stressed out, I must admit, but not because of the event, but more like about my, well, not week, more like upcoming weeks. I just realized that I'm filming in this weird orange light, but I don't know, I feel like the exposure next to the window is always too bright, so whatever. I hope you guys don't mind and you can see I'm already talking way too fast and I'm just like thinking what I want to say and I have to go soon. So um, yeah, so basically um, I wanted to tell you that this next few weeks are going to be um, very busy for me. Um, I have a very big change going on in my life that I'm going to tell you guys about in some other video. I don't want to make this video about it, um, but yeah, I'm basically uh excited to be in new york i'm gonna extend my stay by i think two days i still don't have the hotel room for those uh two days but um yeah i'm gonna have to book it tomorrow and i just hate that i do everything last minute that's why i am stressed out in a way um and yeah after i come back from new york so uh, i'll be staying here because i want to attend some fashion uh events because it's new york fashion week and um just kind of do you know like some uh, fun stuff and I'm actually very lucky um, because I'm on leave after this trip for two weeks so that's why I decided to extend my stay and after I come back from New York um, I have to catch a flight to Lithuania because I'm going for Ruta's wedding and she actually lives in New York but she's already in Lithuania getting ready for her wedding uh, I think I might vlog that trip in Lithuanian so yeah when I come back from New York heading straight to Lithuania uh, from there I have to come back and hop into a flight to Mauritius um, because I was supposed to go to Iceland with JD and unfortunately due to some visa restrictions we were not able to plan the trip so we are going to Mauritius. Oh my gosh, I talked so much and I literally have one hour to 
get ready uh, to get all my stuff from CBS and my breakfast and whatever. So let's do it. I made it, got some Starbucks. Uh, they already serving the pumpkin spice latte, so I was so excited. And I got some breakfast and lunch to go. So yeah, half 40 minutes left. Let's get ready. So I am ready. Um, I have a different uniform. I mean, it's the same looking uniform, but it's a different kind of fit a little bit um, than the one that I wear for work. As you see, I put on earrings. I rarely wear earrings, um, but you have to wear them for business promotion. And this is my hat. I ironed the scarf and yeah, it's basically time to go. Our pickup is in like five minutes. So I'm gonna head downstairs and I'm very excited. Let's put on this lovely hat. It's also a little bit bigger than the one that I wear for work. It's kind of like a new uh, design, I think. But I only wear this one for the events. I actually prefer my uh, old hat just because it's um, kind of thinner at the front. Oh, I don't think this scarf looks good. Hold on, I normally don't put it like this anymore. Let me just put on it properly so I now fold it in half and half around my neck and then you just tuck it in right here and there we go that looks so much better but yeah i used to kind of circle it around my neck but i stopped doing that and i think this looks way nicer but yeah that's it i'm ready i'm not taking my cabin bag as obviously i'm not going for the flight just uh, my handbag and i'll take my camera with me but i am not sure but they'll be able to show you guys anything um, as obviously I'm gonna be working so yeah if I do that will be cool if not I'm sorry so I'll update you when I can and yeah let's talk soon oh and one more thing actually before I go um, I think it's so um, funny well not funny but more like interesting how people in the US they are always like so um, amazed by our uniform like wherever I go like in other hotels and other parts of the world people do just like oh it's so nice or whatever but here they're like oh my god what airline are you or like you know they're just really really like pleasantly surprised by our uniform so it always makes me smile and yeah I'm kind of a little bit nervous now just to go down the hall because I come alone and you know it's gonna be like weird I'm sure somebody's gonna mention something but um yeah, that always puts me in a good mood. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna go now before I am late. <laughs> Today. So excited. So excited. Oh my god, so many people. We're going on our lunch break now, so I'll film when we get inside. Okay, so we're now on our lunch break. Um, basically what we're doing today is we're scanning people's um, QR codes on their iPhones and they're either winning or not winning a cushion and we have a bunch of accessories that we give to them and stuff. But yeah, I'm tired now. Not used to standing on the heels for so long. We have, I think, about two more hours left and then we're done for the day. Uh, so we're not really watching the game or anything like that, which is a bit sad, but hopefully tomorrow we're gonna see something. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you my badge so it's like what we use to enter the premises here and now we're gonna eat our lunch let me show you what i got mine looks so good i'm so excited i got a turkey and cranberry sandwich yummy so yeah bon appetit we finished our lunch this is all the trash now that was not mine it's hers, it's hers <laughs> CV cvs yeah, I ate my sandwich. She also had a sandwich and now we're gonna go back But I'm honestly feeling so lazy now Because you know that feeling after eat you just kind of want to curl up on the couch and sleep <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Maybe I'm also a bit jet-lagged because to be honest right now It's 
almost midnight in Dubai. So it's kind of like a bedtime. So our body's probably a little bit jet lagged. That's the thing. But yeah, we have about two hours and then we're gonna head back to the hotel. So I'm gonna update you guys when I'm back. It's 7.43 p.m. and I just got back and, and um, I just got back. Whoa, whoa, I'm so tired. Oof, it's like um, four in the morning almost in Dubai. So my body is a little bit confused. But yeah, overall, I've had such a cool day. Um, it was so nice seeing people and you know their smiles and um, they're just so, so excited to see us. They're always asking us questions. And actually, I wanna show you guys very quickly um, what we've been doing. Um, so we had like a little um, sign with a hashtag that said Emirates Play. And so people were able to take a photo and post it in order to win or sorry to enter competition with Emirates so um, the hashtag that we were holding was called Emirates play so I'm actually just on my Instagram trying to load that for you let me flip the camera around let's um, see if we can find any pictures i was looking earlier today and i did see some photos from today okay so here is one that's me as you guys see that's another one that's the same one that's one more so it was really cool just to see you know people they were all so happy to take pictures with us and you know they were just very into the whole idea also i am super starstruck right now i know my excitement is probably not as obvious because i'm a little tired but i saw honestly some of the most amazing people today um celebrities i mean and i don't know if i should be saying that but i'll just say it so i saw cara delevingne and i saw alessandro ambrosio i saw Gigi hadid and it was just amazing. I was just so excited. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, you know, inside. But I had to keep it like really cool and stuff. So it was just amazing to see these supermodels, you know, from so close up and they were super nice. They were like, you know, when they were exiting, they were like, thank you. And you know, they kind of, they didn't seem like they're rude and or anything like that. So that was a very good impression. And yeah, I'm just so grateful for this opportunity, you know, to see these, um, talented women that I obviously look up to as everyone else and yeah it was really really fun experience sorry guys I just realized that I probably confused you so um, I wanted just to kind of break down for you what we were doing today so uh, first half of the day we were standing in our like lounge area uh, where people could come and you know take the photographs and um, there was like a little scanning machine where they could scan their uh, US open app with a QR code and uh, win the cushions to sit on and um, then later on in the day like towards the end we went to see the game um, Serena and uh, Bianca and it was honestly so so crazy you know everyone was like rooting for Serena and others were rooting for Bianca and I personally don't really have much experience with tennis well actually more like none and it was just you know very cool for me to see and like people ha cheering for those two talented uh, women so congratulations to Bianca she's an awesome uh, young talented tennis player so well done and um, 
yeah so that's what we did today and tomorrow we're gonna be um i think doing sort of the same thing what we did today but tomorrow is the men's final so we're also gonna watch that um yeah so basically it's gonna be the same thing tomorrow um and after that i'll be staying and doing my own thing here in new york uh but tonight my plan is just to stay in i don't even feel hungry i'm just very like thirsty um, so I'm gonna have a shower, make some tea maybe, chill out, and I'm gonna look for the hotel to stay in for one more night in New York, maybe plan what I'm gonna have to do in those two days that I'm here. Um, but yeah, that's a little update, and I'll talk to you guys then tomorrow morning. Ciao! Good morning guys, today is the last day of the US Open, and it is the men's final, so I'm very excited for the game. Um, I had a really good rest. I had about 10 hours of sleep and I'm actually ready to go now as you see So today I'm gonna be working with one of the Lithuanian girls and I'm excited because there's not that many Lithuanians in our company So you're gonna guys meet Alona or at least maybe she's gonna say hi. I don't know if she's camera shy or not Yeah, I'm just excited. So, um, yeah, let's get going Guys meet Alona. Hello. She's also from Lithuania. Unfortunately, we were not working together today, but we spent the last um, two hours together. Yes, hi again. <laughs> yeah, so we're super tired now, and we're going back to the hotel, and the rest of the girls are leaving tomorrow, and I'm staying two more days, so yeah, I'm excited to explore New York a little bit more. Okay, bye guys! So, after the quick shower, and a little refreshment. I am on the way with the girls Hello. to enjoy some dinner. This is Edita. So hungry, <laughs> this is Rachel. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go have some food. By the way, the weather is quite nice. So I'm wearing I'm wearing a dress and we're walking to a place called Please Don't Tell. Wait, is that together with the hot dog place? Yeah. yeah please don't okay. Tell. So we're going to Please Don't Tell, which is what Rachel recommended to us. She said it's like a hot dog place, but next to it is like a telephone, right? On the wall. And you can enter, yeah, and you can enter a secret bar from like 100 years ago. So I'm very excited. <laughs> That's the true New York spirit. <laughs> Wow, guys, look at this. <gasps> They're already in Christmas mood. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> wow, wow. Even the guy inside, he is like taking photos. He's like, yes, I'm living the dream. <laughs> oh my God, it's so pretty. I can't get over this. Okay, so along the walk, we saw a bagel place, so. We decided that we're gonna go get some bagels. Yum. That looks so good. <laughs> Rachel took a peanut butter and bacon bagel. What? That sounds so crazy, but I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. Uh, for here, for you. To go. Uh, you I actually wanna eat here if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah let's eat here. Uh, this is Rachel's bagel. <laughs> bacon and peanut butter. Oh, it's amazing. I took a very classic one. Salmon and cream cheese with chives. Ah, oh, you just put the bacon and did you put the salmon? I put salmon in mine. She's still deciding, she's still deciding. Oh my god! This is pretty woman vibes, the stairs here. Ugh. All these buildings. I mean, look even at this car, y'all. Look at this car. I feel like I'm in a movie, honestly. Take away. Why am I so fascinated? Okay, so we're almost at the location, and Rachel's gonna tell you quickly. So you see the sausage, beautiful sausage. There. Okay, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. There's a sausage there. The Says, as you can show, right? Like. Okay, this is like very random. We're somewhere in East Village, on the First Avenue, and yeah, this is the place. Yeah. Okay, where are we going? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is random. 
What? Is that where we're gonna go? So unfortunately, they just informed us that it's two hours away. So the CC people are thinking. I think they're going there with a the reservation, and we don't have a reservation. So I think we're gonna look for a new place to go to. Sorry, I couldn't show it to you. The story of this bar is that uh, back in the 1920s, so a hundred years ago exactly. Um, in New York City, in the United States, the alcohol was banned. So there was a moment in history where you could not, absolutely not drink alcohol in public. So they would hide uh, hidden bars in some of the oldest buildings of Manhattan. So that's, that's so kind cool. of where we're trying to find now. The next one is there, so right in front of us. We will find it. It is called Lovers of Today. I think it's the Lovers of Today. I, see? Oh, yes! You have nothing <gasps> else. That's so cool. Yeah, they're very like disguised. You can't really tell. Yeah. So this is the place we're going to. Attempt number two to find a secret bar. <laughs> it's called Lovers of Today Cocktail Bar. Okay. Let's check out this place. just got into the taxi um, we just had one drink we're going back to the hotel Rachel is actually in the uber behind and uh, she's going back to New Jersey it's like 30 minutes ride I think $80 crazy girl um, crazy. yeah and we're like we're staying in the city but uh, we were just talking, it's so weird, that place that we went to, Lovers of Today, right? That's what it was called, yeah. Lovers of Today. People were making out and we're like, because we live in Dubai, so we're not used to it anymore. It's like seeing people just, you know, showing their PDA and stuff. So it was just like, uh, okay, that's strange. Anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep now and then I'll film guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.